Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Shane Mosley's glittering amateur career came to a shocking end in 1992 when he failed to make the United States Olympic team alongside his boyhood friend and rival, Oscar De La Hoya. From there, Mosley turned professional and labored in relative obscurity, even while becoming arguably the greatest lightweight in the sport since Roberto Duran. The real glory didn't begin until Mosley audaciously moved up 12 pounds in weight to challenge his buddy De La Hoya in an all Los Angeles showdown. Since then, it's been a wild ride at or near the top of the sport for Sugar Shane Mosley. Here now, his greatest hits. June 2000, in pursuit of a world title, Mosley faced crosstown rival and champion Oscar De La Hoya in what would become the first of his signature fights. Hard right hand by Mosley. De La Hoya comes back with a left hook. Mosley wobbled by the left hook from De La Hoya. Another left hook for De La Hoya. Mosley steps in with his own left. Brilliant toe-to-toe -to -toe action in the middle of the ring in round nine. Big left hand by Mosley. Oscar De La Hoya unfazed. Crowd rises to support both fighters. After 11 rounds of sustained back and forth action, the stage was set for a memorable final round. Two minutes to go. Brilliant action in LA's biggest fight ever. Big right hand by Mosley. Another big right hand by Shane. De La Hoya trying to make his left hook count. Mosley bombing away with the right. Both going for the knockout in a classic pitch battle. What a fight. Mosley emerged with a split decision victory. September 2003. The boxing world waited three years for the rematch. This time for the junior middleweight title. A more tactical approach seemed effective for De La Hoya early in the fight. There's a good left hook inside by De La Hoya. Hard right hand by De La Hoya. Sensing he may be losing the fight, Mosley picked up his energy and turned it into a brawl. Good combination by Oscar after Mosley flung the big right. Now Shane comes back with one of his best combinations of the fight. Big right hand by Shane Mosley. The left hook lands. De La Hoya begins to trade. Big left hook stuns De La Hoya. Mosley's confidence was growing by the minute. And as the fight entered the closing round, both Warriors wanted to prove one final point. <laughs> Look at De La Hoya. He wants to fight. A hard right hand by Mosley. Stuns De La Hoya. Hardest punch of the fight. To the surprise of many ringside observers, Mosley came away with a unanimous decision victory. March 2004. In his first title defense, Mosley faced the elusive southpaw, Ronald Winky Wright. Continuously fighting at close quarters, Wright's punches were shorter and more accurate. Good left hand by Wright inside. As the fight continued, it was clear Mosley was never comfortable against the bigger, more physical Wright. Wright caught him with a right hook and a left cross, backed Mosley up again. That big left hand was as big a punch yeah. as he landed in the fight. There's another big left hand. Shane wants to answer, but Winky is targeting him. Most boxing fans probably expected it would be a big night for Shane Mosley. Instead, it appears to have been a big night for his opponent, Winky Wright. Winky won the fight by unanimous decision. February 2006. Mosley faced another former 154-pound champion, Fernando Vargas. Early and often, it was Mosley landing devastating blows. Many flush on the face of Vargas. And with Vargas's left eye completely shut, the fight was stopped in round 10, giving Mosley a satisfying TKO victory. July 2006. Five months later, the two Southern California fighters met again. And speed advantage for Mosley is immediately apparent here. This time, Sugar Shane Mosley showed flashes of the fighter who had dominated opponents in the lighter division with fierce speed and awesome power. Mosley knocked Vargas out in the sixth round with a picture-perfect left hook. February 2007, Mosley returned to the welterweight division for the first time since 2005, taking on Luis Colasso. After a quick start by Colasso, Mosley's pinpoint accurate punches began finding their target. He's letting his hands go, and he just knocked Colasso back. 
Luis Galazzo seems to be becoming discouraged here in the eighth round. Still trying to throw, but Shane Mosley is just overwhelming him with energy and activity. Having destroyed Colasso's will, the 35-year-old Mosley finished with a flourish. In the last two rounds, Luis Colazzo has been eating Shane Mosley's right hand. And Colasso goes down, and that's a knockdown. Shane Mosley came away with a unanimous decision victory. November 2007. Mosley faced undefeated Puerto Rican star Miguel Cotto at a packed Madison Square Garden. Both fighters attacked from the opening bell, leading to magnificent action. Hard right hand across the top by Cotto. Big right hand by Mosley. Cotto momentarily stunned. Tremendous left hook by Cotto. Tremendous right hand by Shane Mosley. They are trading shot for shot now as the action heats up. Right hand lands for Cotto. And another left hook, and Mosley backs off. It's a war of wills in round three. As the fight moved to the middle rounds, the pace remained the same, with both fighters landing devastating blows. These are vicious exchanges. Some of the most vicious exchanges we've seen in years. Hard right hand by Cotto. Thudded onto the chin of Shane Mosley. Cotto staggering. Mosley appeared to be gaining momentum. But in the championship rounds, Cotto had the upper hand. Cotto backs Mosley up with a left and a right and another right. Big left hand by Cotto. Cotto has energy. Back to fighting the way he fought earlier. What a vicious struggle. And a huge left hand by Cotto. And another left hand by Cotto. And he has clearly won the 11. After 12 violent rounds, the courageous Mosley lost by unanimous decision. Whoa! September 2008. Hungry for a win, Mosley returned home to Los Angeles to face Ricardo Mayorga. After a sluggish beginning, Mosley stepped on the gas in the middle rounds. And there's a lead left hook by Shane Mosley. And a perfect right hand, busting Mayorga on the chops. And this is the thing about Mayorga. If you've got the cojones to fight him, he's an easy target as Shane is beginning to learn. Have you ever seen a 37-year-old guy with a round like that? <laughs> Big right hand by Mosley, and another one right there. Nobody celebrates impending defeat like Ricardo Mayorga. In the final round, Mosley had one thing on his mind, knocking his man out. Scintillating, fighting down the stretch of the fight by Shane Mosley. A brilliant cross round, and he puts Mayorga on the canvas. It took a while, but Shane Mosley came up with some of that old 12th round magic. And he knocked him down again to finish the fight. It's a knockout. He finally got it. Brilliant stuff by Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley, I love you. To see more of Sugar Shane Mosley, tune in to HBO Sports.